This one goes out to all of those people who are suffering from a deep lack of self-love, who are suffering from a sense of not enoughness, who suffer from a sense that they are not okay and that they have to be somebody different or do something different or become something different in order to find a space in which they can feel like they are a sufficient human being, worthwhile, worthy of living on this world and sufficient for other people to love. You know, the work that I do in personal transformation is all about that. It's all about teaching you how to find yourself again. And it's all got to do with this, this idea that there's nothing really wrong with you and that there's never been anything wrong with you. And that each and every one of us has access to a sense of ourselves that is strong and resilient and powerful and wonderful and enough and sufficient for this world and lovable and that we can ourselves love unconditionally. And the problem is that, you know, we were born with this, this capacity to be a human being and to be a worthwhile, lovable, sufficient human being. And that capacity was not determined by our skills and it was not determined by our natural talent and it wasn't determined by our looks and how much wealth we could gather over the world or how many friends we could, could make or how good we were at leadership or any of that kind of stuff. That capacity was born with us because we are a human being. And the nature of being a human being is to be a human being. And we come in all shapes and sizes, all intelligence, all looks, all um, skills. We have this huge, massive, massive variety of potentially being something different from somebody else. And so our very humanness is our very differentness from everybody else. And then as we start to go along and grow up, we start to want to be more like everybody else. And we start to measure ourselves like everybody else. And we start to think that we are not enough in relation to everybody else. And that we have to do something or be something to earn everybody's love so that we can know that we are okay. So we're born sort of like a, a perfectly good semi-precious stone or precious stone. Let's say we're born, let's say we're born like a diamond. And, you know, a, a diamond has all these um, different aspects that are carved into it because without those different aspects, it can't reflect the light, it can't shine. And when the light shines from this side onto the diamond, this side is dark, it's almost black. And when it shines from this side, this side is dark and almost black. And so we have these light and dark sides of ourselves that make up ourselves as a complete human being. But we spend a lot of time thinking that's not okay. You see, our biggest problem is not that we are not enough, it's that we can't see that we are a fully formed, perfectly asseted diamond. Because as we've gone through life, somebody's taken a spade full of horseshit and slapped it over our perfectly formed diamond, and that's dried, and it's become petrified. And at some point, all we can see about ourselves is the horseshit. And then as we've grown old, our friends have done it, our parents have done it, and we've done it to ourselves, and our life experience have done it. And we're just this little tiny diamond that's absolutely fabulously perfect, humanly formed, can't go wrong, you're a human being. But our image of ourselves is these layers and layers and layers of all the shit that's been put on it. And as a person who specializes in helping people to find that unconditional place inside themselves where they can love themselves, all we have to do is scrape off the horseshit so that you can see yourself for what you really are. And this is something that you can do for yourself at home also. And it's about recognizing the difference between thinking and being. So we think ourselves up as something good enough or not good enough or acceptable or not acceptable or good or bad or strong or wise or, or useless or weak. We think ourselves up as that person. We create our identity through our thought. But the truth of ourselves is that we are a perfectly well-formed human being and we don't need to do anything more than that or be anything more than that in order to be okay, in order to be enough. And when you have that realization, you can really find the enoughness inside of yourself without anything else. It's an interesting journey. Good luck with it.